Hi, I'm George Pearson, and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now, when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description, and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course, always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. In this Photoshop Elements project, I'm going to show you how to find and use custom brushes like I used in here for this star-filled background. Let me first bring up a browser window here. Here we go. Now, you can use lots and lots of brushes that are online. They're easy to find. I just did a search here on Google, as you can see there, for free Photoshop Elements brushes. And I found a whole bunch in here. One of the sites that I like is this one right down here, myphotoshopbrushes.com. These same brushes can be used in Photoshop or in Photoshop Elements. We'll be using those here in Photoshop Elements. Let me just show you what this page looks like. I have it up right there. All kinds of different, really interesting brushes in here. There's tons and tons of things. I'm on page three right now. Let's go back to page one just for a second. So here's page one, lots of different brushes. Some are just regular brushes, some are actually patterns or objects that you can use. I prefer the ones that are you know, more patterny and brush-like as opposed to objects, but they can save you a lot of time even on the objects as well. So all kinds of interesting brushes in here. The one that I used was this one right there, glitter brushes. And I have that page right there. Now if you're using these brushes and you want to be using this brush commercially, take a look for the terms of use that are right there. This one is free for commercial use. This one's fine to use. If you're just using it for yourself, it doesn't matter what you use. You can grab anything you want. But if you're using it for a commercial purpose, like I'm using it here in this video, make sure that you have that you check for the terms of use and it says that it's available for commercial use. Then all you have to do is simply download right there, download the brush. Now this is a look at all the different brushes in this particular set. There's a lot of things in here as you can see, all kinds of really neat brushes and a mix doing fancy backgrounds and other special effects. Real, real simple. So you just go ahead and click on that to download. Now what I do is I download all of my brushes. There we go. I save all of mine into one folder. I happen to just have mine called Photoshop Brushes. Put them in any place that you want to, it's fine. Now, these are just some basic brush files right down here. Notice the ABR extension. That tells you that it's an Adobe brush. If they come in a zip file, the glitter brushes was in a zip file, for instance, you can see right there. You'll need to unzip that file, and it will then give you a folder. Now, I put all of my zip files into one folder, so I'll just kind of clean things up, keep things nice and neat. Let's take a look at the glitter brushes folder. And there we go. Now, you'll see here we have two files. The brushes file is that one right there where it says .abr or Adobe Brush. Sometimes you'll have additional files in here. You may have some previews. This one has one preview image. You may have some other things in there as well. It depends on what the author includes with their brush. So now once you have the brush on your computer, simply you know, save to a location that you can find on your computer. That's the easy part. Then all you have to do is to load that brush in when you want to use it. Let me show you how that's done. Let me just clean this file out. Actually, I'm just going to hide those too. There we go. So there's the original. That's the way I began right here. And let's find our brushes. Go over here to the brush. Here's the brush tools. I'm going to put this back to the default brushes. There we go. So now it's back to the way it would normally be when you first bring that up. To load a brush set in, just go over here to this little icon. Click on that and come down here to load brushes. Then simply navigate to the location where you have your brush set stored. And of course, I know that mine is in this glitter brushes location. There's that glitter brush. Choose load and it loads in those brushes. Now the brushes are loaded in just while I'm working on this one file. They won't be loaded again later on. You'll have to reload those each time you want to use them. The nice thing about doing it this way though is that you're not going to be gumming up your Photoshop Elements program with a lot of brushes that you don't need. So I recommend on these specialty brushes, just load them in when you want to use them and then any other time just use your regular brushes. 
So let's take a look and see how this whole thing is done. Real easy, I'm just going to quickly make a copy here. Let's just select this person out and I'll grab our selection brush and I'm using here the quick selection tool and I'll just kind of come in here and just do a real fast selection of this person. There we go. And let's grab this sleeve over here. Again, I take a lot more time for a project that I was going to be selling as opposed to just this quick video. But this gives you the basic idea. You know, make a selection in here. I just want to make a copy of this person and put them on their own layer. So there's our background with this person selected. And again, you know, do a real careful selection of this if you're doing this for a professional output. Let's just go to up here to layer and new. I'll do new layer via copy. And it gives me a new layer right there. So I have the the girl here just by herself and then in behind is the background. Now by putting the brushes, those glitter things, on their own separate layers. Let's go back to the background, click on a new layer like this, and on this new layer, we'll do our glitter effect on that. That way I can show it or hide it or change it. You may even want to put it onto a couple of different layers to give you more control. That's really up to you. But for this video, we'll just leave it on just the one layer. Okay, back to our brushes. Back to our brush. Let's just grab that one right there. And you can kind of see how this, I'll double click it out of the way. You can see how the brush looks. So let's put just a few of these around in here. Like that. Let's grab another brush. Let's come down here and let's take this one. It looks pretty good. Just put a few of these around. Just kind of fill the background up there with some of that stuff. That's nice. Let's scroll down a little bit. I'll take this thing right here, double click on that, put a few of these in. Now because I'm putting them on this layer, they're in behind the figure, so if I go like that, it kind of shows in behind. There's a few of those around. Let's come back here to our brush and see what else we have. Let's grab, That's it's a 48 brush size. This is pretty small. doesn't really show that well. You can see there's the brush sizes, the number underneath. A lot of people seem to mistakenly call that the number of the brush. That's actually the brush size. Let's just see what else we have down here. Here's some more fun stuff. Let's take that one. I'll double click on that. That's pretty good. And put a little bit of those in there. So there we go. That is how to find and then use these custom brushes. As you can see, a lot of these brushes have just some Tons and tons of great brushes. This is one of my favorites, actually. A lot of fun stuff in here. So do that. Take a look online. Do a little search on Google for free Photoshop Elements brushes. Download a few of these things. Give them a shot. So download them to one location on your hard drive, wherever it is you want to have them. And then simply go over here, little icon, come down to Load Brushes, and load in the brushes. And there you go. This can give you all kinds of fun and save you all kinds of time on making some really fancy artwork very, very quickly because these real nice custom brush sets. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.